Have you ever thought it was too hard to start a podcast? Well, today we're going to show you how to start a podcast with Anchor, a super simple way to craft podcasts with your mobile device. Stick around. G'day, it's Doug from Doug Houston YouTube here, and we're here to help you with tech wherever possible. If this is your first time here, we discuss all things tech, and in particular, the tech around content creation, including gear, apps, and platforms that can help you become an awesome creator. If that's your thing, then why not consider subscribing and check the bell so you don't miss a video. Today, we're looking at a fantastic app called Anchor. It's a podcast production studio that lives in your pocket. We're gonna give you an overview of what the app can do and show you how easy it is to get a podcast out to the masses. Let's go check it out right now. Anchor is not only a podcast creation tool, it is also a platform you can build an audience on. The app itself is available on both iOS and Android. Today, we're using the iOS version. And one thing to remember, Anchor is 100% free. The app and platform has evolved since its launch in 2017 and is steadily maturing as a podcast creation tool. When you first set up your podcast, Anchor automatically distributes it to podcast platforms like Apple Podcasts, also known as iTunes, and Google Play Music. Future episodes will be automatically distributed. When you first open the app, you're presented with a number of tools at the bottom. The colored ones are all for the creation of your podcast. To the left is the listen button, which opens up for you to listen to anchor channels. You can favorite ones that you like or search for new ones by name or use the various categories to discover new content. To the right, you can access your profile, access your settings and see your podcast past episodes. The main button is the record window. To start recording, you can lift the phone to your ear, just like a telephone call, or you can hold the record button and record. For better recordings, you can use many of the compatible external microphones on the market. Once a segment is recorded, you can listen back to it and optionally add background or ambience music to that segment. If you make a mistake, you can undo and go back and record again. When you're happy, click done. The green button takes you to your voice messages. These used to be called call-ins. People listening to your podcast on Anchor can call in to your station and leave a comment, message, or add something to the subject matter of your podcast. You can listen back to those messages and insert them into your next podcast. All of a sudden, your podcasts have become interactive. The purple button is a new feature on Anchor where you can record with a friend. You can bring in a co-host or even interview someone. The blue button is for bringing in music from Apple Music or Spotify. Note, you can only include music on your Anchor broadcasts and it cannot be included in podcasts that are published or distributed to other podcast platforms. The pink button is for adding transitions to your podcast. Transitions are like stingers on a radio station and help transition your podcast from one segment to another. As you go, the app prompts you to publish your podcast, but you can keep skipping this until you've finished adding all your segments. When you're happy with your segments, you can tap the publish button. Give it a name and a description and choose to send it to Anchor only or to all your podcast platforms. You can also send a link to the podcast via Twitter and Facebook. And now we're going to look at the Anchor website at anchor.fm. Assuming you've already got an account, sign in and you'll come to the Anchor dashboard. 
Here, you'll get an overview of your Anchor statistics, including number of plays, episode downloads, etc. You can also upload an audio file here if you've pre-recorded your podcast on your computer. This is great for interview podcasts or where you've turned your YouTube or other video style live stream into a podcast episode. The settings tab is where you can edit everything about your anchor channel and podcasts. It will also have all your links, including where your podcast is available on various platforms. The new episode tab includes an interface where you can assemble a podcast in a similar way to the mobile app. The same color-coded buttons appear down the side so you can record, add messages, add transitions, and also options to upload a pre-recorded file and browse all the audio you have created on Anchor previously. Once an episode is assembled in the window on the right, you can save the episode and have it sent to Anchor and the other podcast platforms. If you want some more in-depth tutorials on how to use Anchor, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to share this video with anyone you might think is into making podcasts on the go. Here's a video that YouTube thinks that you might like. And if you want to, there's a subscribe button right here. This is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube, and I'm out.